guys, it's Sarah and I'm here with my third layout using my March Hip Kit. I'm going to be scrapping these pictures of Layla and I'm going to be using a piece of paper that I'm not super comfortable with so it'll be interesting. <laughs> um, the only reason is because those circles there are very harsh on your eye and if you look at them too long they kind of make you a little dizzy <laughs> and um, I don't know what it is. It's because of the stripes, I know that, but sometimes if I'm looking at it, it gives me a little bit of a headache. So I still want to use it though because it goes great um, with the pictures that I have, but I just need to tone them down a little bit. So that's going to be my challenge here is to figure out how I'm going to do that. So that paper there is from HipKit along with the navy blue arrow paper. That's a scrap from another layout I did. And then the blue and the yellow chevron there is from Pink Fresh Studio, also came in the kit. And then um, everything else I use is scraps. So I had like a 4x6, or a little bit larger than 4x6 actually. Um, it's like a glitter paper and it has um, just random dots on it and they're blue and yellow. So I'm going to use that right there underneath that picture. That's going to be at an angle. And then I have this Project Life card here from the Turquoise kit, which is such an old kit. I think that was the first one I ever got. It's so old. <laughs> and it says, this makes me happy. And um, I'm literally, you can see I'm just pulling things from my desk that I have sitting in a little um, tin on my desk that I'm just wanting to use up here soon, so I keep it right in front of me. I have a die cut from my Silhouette machine that I cut ages ago. I mean, it's probably been at least two years since I cut that, and it says Hello Sunshine, and it's in a circle. Um, I will eventually end up cutting it out of the circle because I don't need the circle on there it becomes a little bit too much and I have a flare badge I'm gonna use and then I have um, a scrap piece of doily that I'm gonna use as well so in order to tone down these circles a bit I'm going to use a couple of circle punches and I'm going to cut more circles out of different papers and I'm going to use them to kind of layer them up over so that not all of the stripes are showing um, you can still see the pattern underneath them, but it's not going to be quite as harsh on your eye. It's just going to help tone it down just a little bit. So I'm using both the navy arrow paper and some scrap craft pattern paper that I have sitting there as well. And I also had a scrap piece of vellum that I put up at the top left hand corner there. And here's where I'm cutting the circle off. So I just don't really need it. <laughs> So I'm just going to cut the sentiment out and it fits perfectly on that Project Life card. So it's great. It works out really nicely. And I don't know where I got that cut. I think I got it from a class that I took a while ago. Um, I went through a phase where I was taking tons of silhouette classes online because I would gotten my silhouette and I had no clue how to really use it properly. So I was taking a bunch of stuff and so they gave, um, you know, free cut files with the class and all that good jazz. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start getting my layers put down here. And um, I'm actually using a sketch for this one as well from the Ready, Set, Go, I'm sorry, Ready, Sketch, Go class, which is a class that is run by um, Jen Scow and Tracy Claiborne. And I've been using a lot of those sketches with my layouts lately. It's definitely helped me get out of kind of a little bit of a scrapping funk I've been going through. Um, just not having very creative ideas on my own. And sketches always help me get through those times <laughs> and help get my mojo going. So this is another one here that I'm using. And um, I really like the way that it turned out. So I have my pictures there. One of them I put straight up and down. That was supposed to be kind of the formal one. And then the second one is more of a candid shot of Layla laughing. And I wanted to put Hello Sunshine on here because I was trying to get a picture of her just in her outfit because it was really cute. We were going to dance class and she has her cute little dance outfit on and then she puts on her cowgirl boots because she wears them everywhere. And I just thought she looked adorable. And so I was trying to get her to take a picture and the sun was at her face and she could not open her eyes. Every time she tried to open her eyes, I just couldn't get the picture fast enough. <laughs> and I, It just wasn't working. So um, I thought I would kind of talk about that a little bit. But I love the one where she's laughing because it's perfect. And she, when she laughs, she has the best laugh. It's really awesome. So, all right, I am using this rub-on. This rub-on is so old. This is a Karen Foster Design rub-on. I was so worried that it was not going to rub off at all because it's that old. I mean, this thing is probably at least four years old. I've had it that long. I believe I got it 
I don't even know, honestly. It's at least four or five years old. So I've had it for a very, very long time, just haven't used it. I was going through some stuff and trying to figure out what I was going to use on some layouts, and then I saw this and I thought this would be great because Layla is literally laughing in the second picture, and so it's going to end up being my title, and it rubs off beautifully. I was really seriously worried <laughs> about it, but it came off really, really nicely, so I was really pleased with that, and it makes a big statement down there. And I got to use it up, so I was super happy about that. All right, so I'm kind of checking out my circles, making sure everything is where I want it to be, make sure I don't want to move anything around before I start sticking it down, and I don't, so I'm good with everything. Um, I think that it covers up enough of the harshness that it's not, it won't hurt your eyes when you're looking at it, and that was my goal, so. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the extra. I'm going to put a staple up here just to help reinforce that vellum as well. And I'm going to start looking through the kit and see what else I want to use on this layout. A lot of stuff I used here is not from the kit, so <laughs> um, I was trying to be mindful of that. I usually try to stick mainly to the kit if I can, but sometimes it doesn't work, always work out that way. I did add a little washi strip there from Pink Fresh Studio, which came in the kit. I'm going to add this little bird from Basic Gray, which came in the kit as well. And then I'm going to go through some of these die cuts, see if there's anything in there. There's nothing in there I like. Um, there is something on this cork that I want to use. And I'm going to use this little heart banner, and I'm going to put this right at the top here. And I'm going to pop up the bird on some foam squares. I'm going to layer that right in between the pictures there. That kind of helps connect them and kind of covers up that little awkward spot where they connect on the bottom. And those cork are from Basic Gray as well. And I'm going to go ahead and do my journaling. I'm going to journal right onto this Project Life card and just talk about how I was trying to take a good picture of her, but it was impossible with the sun shining in her eyes, but I'm super happy I got the pictures because she still looks adorable, because she just is. <laughs> Total unbiased opinion right there. And what else am I going to do? Um, I'm going to do a couple more, or at least one more circle here. Where do I put that? Right there. Okay, good. <laughs> it's been a couple weeks since I've done this layout, so I'm trying to remember what I did. Um, I go for the wood veneer, but I actually end up pulling out some enamel dots instead. I think they're just going to stand out a little bit better. Um, but I am going to add a couple of hearts first, and I'm going to use the hearts with the yellow on them, and then I'm going to use large and yellow enamel dots. Um, I only have three on there, so it just kind of helps accent it a little bit. I'm looking at it, trying to decide if I want to do anything else at all. Um, I'm texting. Who am I texting? I'm texting my friend Meg. <laughs> um, I think I'm trying to find the date for this. So I'm going through my camera roll because I took these pictures on my iPhone. So I'm going through and trying to find the picture because it will tell me the date. If I click on it, it will tell me the date. So I go ahead and do that. It was April 2016. I didn't put the actual date. I just put the month and the year. Sometimes that's all I really care about. And I'm adding another circle. Where's that going? Oh, right there. <laughs> I wanted to bring some craft down into the bottom. Um, to kind of help that corner there as well. And that's going to be it. That completes my layout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions at all, and I will be happy to answer them. And um, I will be back again real soon with some more kit layouts for you. And make sure you check out their website in the description I'm going to leave in case you haven't already. Have a great day, guys. See you soon. Bye.